Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of This, this is Epic. Epic. We're super glad to be here with you all again. Today we're talking about how God created the whole world. You mean this world? Well, kind of. I mean, sort of. That's just a globe. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, look, it's Kentucky right there. Oh my gosh. You're right. Isn't it kind of cool how little we are? But it really sure doesn't feel like that, does it? No, definitely. Feels like our world is so big until you look at it like this and then you see how itty bitty we really are. Sure does. And, and who else but God could create all of this? I know that's right. Only God. God created the whole world and everything in it. Check this out. God's story. Creation. So part of God's story is about when he created the world. And it begins like this. Before the beginning of time, there was nothing. Nothing at all. No earth, no light, just emptiness. It was like the inside of a basketball. Or a cup after you drink all the milk out of it. But God was there, and he had an idea. He wanted to fill up the emptiness. And guess what? Since he's God, he can make things appear just by speaking. It's like if you could say, let there be a roller coaster, and then any kind of roller coaster you wanted just appeared. So, in the middle of nothing, God said, let there be light, and the darkness was filled with light. Now, we know what light is, but remember, it had never existed before. Everything God made was brand new. So it was probably like when you're asleep, and someone comes in the room and flips on the lights. Except there were no people yet. God was creating a world for them first. Anyway, light was the first thing God made. He called the light day, and the dark night. He made a huge space above water, and called it sky. Then he gathered all the water, separated it from dry ground, and called it sea. He called the dry ground land. God called it all good. He thought what he had made was pretty sweet. But he wasn't done yet. All that land was still bare. So God made plants. Oak trees, palm trees, evergreen trees, grass, roses, sunflowers, and every other type of tree, bush, flower, or plant, including the ones we eat like broccoli and brussels sprouts. Then God looked at all the plants and called them good. Kids, that includes vegetables. After plants, God created the sun to shine all day and the moon to shine at night. He sprinkled twinkling balls of light in the sky and called them stars. And guess what? He called that stuff good too. Next, God filled the water with fish and whales and sharks and squid and every other sea creature. He filled the sky with flapping, chirping, squawking birds. And what do you think he called the fish and birds? Yep, good. Even though sometimes birds poop on our heads. Now there were fish and birds, but still nothing but plants on land. So God said, let there be animals. And animals of all kinds came crawling, scurrying, snorting, stomping, and racing across the dry ground. And just like everything else, God called the animals good. God was almost done. But he had one more thing to create that he had imagined from the very beginning when the earth was still empty. People. And he was going to love this creation more than anything else. See, the land and sky and animals and plants were beautiful, but none of them are as precious to God as we are. So finally, God created Adam. But God soon saw that Adam needed one more thing, a family. So God created Eve. And God's plan was for the two of them to have babies and live in this perfect world forever. No hunger, no sickness, no sadness, no loneliness, no dying. God took care of their every need like a loving father. It was perfect. God loved all his creation. Remember, he had called it all good. But when he looked at Adam and Eve and felt such a strong love for them, he called everything he had made very good. Then he rested to enjoy his perfect world. And that's the story of creation. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. The earth was empty. God made light and dark. God made the sky and seas. God made plants and fish. God made birds and animals. He said all this stuff was good. Then he made Adam. Adam needed a family. So God made Eve. God called everything very good. Then God rested. And that's a part of God's story. Great video. I love hearing the story of how God created the whole world. And how he did it in just six days. Six days! That's not even a week! And then on the seventh day, he rested. I bet after all that work, he needed a rest. Absolutely. 
Hey, so I think it's time for our memory verse. What do you think? I totally think you're right. Yes, and guess what? We have a new memory verse this week. We sure do. You guys ready? I think we are. Here we go. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Have you guys heard that verse before? I bet you have. It's a favorite of many. Okay, guys, that'll do it for us for this week. Thank you so much for joining us for another awesome edition of This, this is, is Epic. Epic. See you next week.